and she was rich, and so she caught me cheating, and she said in order to get back with her, I had to pay $11,000. Q-R-S-T-U-B-W-X-Y-N-Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? I gotta say the whole thing, because if I don't say the whole thing, then I'm gonna forget my ABCs, bro. Introducing Gerald Houston, and I'm on Trash Talk Magazine, ready to talk some trash. Do you prefer FaceTime, text, or call? I prefer FaceTime, because I can pull my dick out on camera and slap it on the on my camera. Don't use my phone, because I, I slap my dick on my phone, so don't use my phone. If you could pull out the per perfect crime, what would it be? I would take the land back from white people. I would give us all the money to, that they got and give them what we got. So I would just change lives with white people. I would put the black people in the white people position and put the white people in the black people position. I'll pull that off. Cause that shit they be doing is trash to me, man. <laughs> Who lies more, men or women? Come on, man, we all lie. Men lie, women lie, Megan Thee Stallion lie, Tory lie, everybody lied, man. What's the most toxic thing you've ever done? All right, I was sleeping with this married girl, right? She kept running out of excuses to come see me. So I told her, to send me their grocery list. She sent me the grocery list, I bought all the groceries. And then when she came over to my house, all she had to do was put the groceries in her trunk. That eliminated all the time that she needed to come hang out with me. Like, she had a whole hour and a half, two hours to hang out with me. Your wife got some good pussy, bro. Uh, what's off limits during sex? Right, we can get as freaky as you want, just don't be trying to Put your fingers or your tongue in my butt, you know what I'm saying? I don't do all that stuff, man. I had a girl one time give me some head. She was licking the gooch. She was feeling kind of good. Then she gonna lick my ass. I'm like, hey, hold up, hey, what you doing? That's my ass you licking. She's like, no, that's my ass. I'm like, oh, damn, shorty, you tripping like a motherfucker shit. I ain't gonna lie, I kind of felt like baby wipes, but you know what I'm saying? It's cool, though, but that shit still kind of trash, though. Why did your last relationship end? Man, I'm gonna tell you like this. I was dating this Raiders player's daughter, man, and she was rich, and so she caught me cheating, and she said in order to get back with her, I had to pay $11,000. That was the cheating fee, it was $11,000, so I wasn't trying to pay the cheating fee, because she said, this the rich league, boo-boo. Like, when Kobe messed up, he bought his wife a ring. She was literally, her daddy played for the Raiders, man. I don't even want to say his name, because I might even know who he is, like her, like her, like her dad played for the Raiders, baby daddy played for the fucking NFL and everything. Like she was a straight rich girl. So in order to get back with her and mend our relationship, I had to pay $11,000. I wasn't about to pay that shit, bro. I can just hit up one of these girls in Atlanta for the 40 ball at the blue flame. You know what I'm saying? Trash. <laughs> What's the most toxic thing that's happened to you? I don't know, man. I broke up with this girl and she started telling me she's going to drink bleach. And I just told her, hey, make sure you don't use the dollar store kind. Use the chloride kind. What's the craziest dream you ever had? I had a dream like two weeks before Michael Jackson died. I was on a desert with Michael Jackson. He had on a black tuxedo with a red uh, velvet bow tie and a little strap around his little waist. I forget what they call the little bands that go around there. And he was pouring his soul out to me. He was like, people say I changed. People don't like me for who I am no more. He pulled this gun out that like had like a long barrel, like it was kind of like this. And he did like this and he shot himself in the head and then he fell down to the ground like an ostrich. His head was stuck in the ground like an ostrich. And then two weeks later, Michael Jackson died, man. And you know what's crazy? At that point in time, I was working in the call center. I was telling people at the call center around me about the dream. And next thing you know, some dude named Michael Jackson calls in. What's the brokest thing someone has done around you? I used to save all my receipts to McDonald's, KFC, Burger King, and then call back later and complain about the food till my food was messed up. They wasn't gonna take the food back, they'd just give me fresh new foods. That was like broke shit to me. So like, what's the lamest thing you seen someone do for clout? I hate when girls Try to tell us what we can and what we can't do. We can't say we him. We can't eat ice cream. We can't smile, laugh, can't order no snacks. Like, like what type of nigga want snacks? Like, they be on it, Twitter, what type of nigga like snacks, nigga? Like, I'm the only snack he should like. Like, that's lame as fuck. Like, stop it, man. Like, let us be who we want to be. <laughs> All right, what's more important, love or money? Chase the money and the women gonna follow. If you ain't got no money, who gonna love you? Who gonna love a broke motherfucker? Like, think, think about all the people that's broke around you. Do you love them? Do you want them calling you? Do you want them touching you? Do you want them all in your face? No. Do you remember your worst ass whooping? Yes, I do. I had gave a girl my mama's diamond earrings. She never got them back. My daddy found out about it, whooped my ass. My daddy gave me an old school ass whooping, like, like four rounds. Like, he whooped my ass. 
start drinking lemonade, then whip my ass again, start drinking iced tea, then whip my ass again and start drinking glass of water, then whip my ass again, fix dinner, then whip my ass again. Like, it was like, it was terrible, man. That was like the worst ass I've ever had in my life. What's the craziest thing that an ex done? Besides drinking the bleach? Well, the same girl drink bleach, she tried to run me over with a car. I went to jail. She got me, she bonded me out. Then when I got out of jail, like, I just changed my locks. Hey, I don't know what she did to get that money, though. She was tricking that pussy off. No, for real, I really was a, I was an indirect pimp. Like, this girl was selling pussy behind my back and I didn't even fucking know it. And then when I told her about it, I said, yo, you selling pussy behind my motherfucking back? She said, well, nigga, I gave the money to you. I started adding up. I was like, yeah, she did give me a lot of money. She did give me a lot of money, bro. She was buying me clothes. She was giving me thousand, fifteen hundred, twenty-five, bonding me out of jail, and she was selling the pussy. I mean, that shit trashed up. What do you look for before shooting your shot on social media? I'm trying to see if she got pictures from the neck up. They got neck up, no neck and below. They ain't showing the neck and below, man. They ain't doing none of that. So you gotta check for all that. You gotta check all angles. They be ass fishing. I'm looking to see if she's smiling because some girls don't never smile. You know why? The teeth fucked up. And then I'm looking for baby pictures. The number one thing I'm looking for is baby pictures. Not of her, of her kids. Because these girls, some girls ain't even girls, they mean. I need to see if you got kids. I only mess with girls got kids. If you ain't got no kids, you ain't got no birth certificate, you ain't laid up there, hair messed up, huh, had a baby and stuff. I don't mess with girls that don't got no kids because these girls with no kids, like they might be mean. Like you gotta check out all that stuff like that, bro. Like, so that's what I'll be looking for when I'll be looking for a girl on social media. If I shoot my shot, I gotta know if, if you a man or a woman. Yo, it's your boy Gerald Houston. I just wrapped it up with Trash Talk.